Let's try over on and around Window Rock. Wait, is there a... Dude, I found a hidey hole under Window Rock. That's pretty cool. It's very small, but like... I don't know. I think that's cool. I feel like this would be a cool place. Let's just check out by the springs. Like, why not? I feel like every time I think something would be a cool or reasonable place to hide treasure, it's just that's never where it is. actually for once there's some you can get up really high in these mountains I'm gonna go take a look I don't know what I do with a Native American character I thought of it but I, I just don't know what I would do whoa this is really high up what if you can get any higher Probably not. Nope. Nope. making myself nervous. Nope. Noping out. It's really cool though. I just don't want to fall down and lose my stuff. I've never explored here before. So I'm actually, actually really nervous because I don't know if there's spawns I don't know about, you know, like cougars or bears could come attack me. I don't know where the cliffs are. Yeah, no, I just don't, like, most of it I've seen is, like, sitting around inside the teepees, so that would not be fun for me, you know? Uh, plus, I don't know anything I don't know a whole lot about it, so I wouldn't really be able to, you know, be like, ah, my character's from here and stuff. I don't know. Oh, there's people here. I hope I don't spook them. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to int uh, intrude. I was just on my way through. I'm sorry. Anything. If you are fine, if the sound of hooves are allowed, overall, we had heard you coming from many of the old trails which we used to get around. So we were curious. We thought you were typekin. But hello. Oh, no, I'm not. I was just exploring the area. I've never really seen it before, so I was taking in the sights and seeing if I could find anything with my metal detector, but didn't find anything dropped in the ground or anything like that, so... Around here, I would find that very unlikely to be able to do these things. <laughs> no, but someone might sneak up and hide something somewhere. You never know. Especially mm -hmm. criminals, they tend to go out to the farthest places away from towns. I say this with the least intent of it being a threatening place I, I can manage, but Tall Trees has things like this, I know. Oh, I, I know. I don't like going down there. 
Uh, for obvious reasons. Either way. I just thought it'd be nice to take the sights either way. I hope I didn't disturb anyone. Oh no, you did not disturb anyone. We just like to make sure that we greet any adventurers or visitors that come to Wapiti. My name is Wachuge, elder of Tapawata and Wapiti, spirit raiser and storyteller. We welcome you to our home. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. My name's Saffron Mitchell. We met a great deal of time ago, Saffron. Aye, I believe that we have. I've met a few people. We have as well. Tall trees. You bring Marty. Aye, in tall trees. <laughs> oh, this is good. Marty's a good man. Aye, Marty mm. and I go and we do some mining together and stuff like that. It's good. <clears throat> Indeed. Well, I'm glad that you were able to find yourself here. You have met much of my tribe kin already. They speak right. highly of you and your people. Of, of me and my people? Oh, uh, Mr. Marty. Marty. Oh, Marty. Mm. Hey, he's a good friend. Absolutely. So is this your first time around here, though? Or just this far up, uh, up to the north? Uh, I think I've walked through near here before, but I've never... Again, gone out behind the mountains and stuff. So that's what I was doing. I was taking a look around. Mm, picked a good horse for you, at least. Must have oh, been sturdy and sure. I've had mm -hmm. Zephyr here for about six years. He's been a very faithful companion. It seems like you two have a great bond. Mm, he has a strong spirit. Absolutely. Well, if you would like to, you're more than welcome to stay a, a while if you care to. <clears throat> Take a moment to rest yourself if you have been riding for a while. Uh, Haunted riding can be quite hard on a horse's hooves. Aye, sh uh, sure. I just don't, I don't mean to intrude. You are not. We are just waiting for one other to come before speaking inside of the teepee. But you are more than welcome to spend the time here if you would like to. The reservation is a welcoming space. Mm. To many of those who come, especially when they come with peace in their heart. Of course. <laughs> um, we'll fetch tinder for a fire. Hmm. Sure, I can help you gather it if you want. I didn't oh, bring much with me. Fine. I know where much of it is. Well, looks like we're doing some native RP <laughs> spontaneous. How have you been? Um, <laughs> I did not can. Um, I'm alive and well, I suppose. I've been a wee bit frustrated lately. I've been robbed a few times in a row. <gasps> oh, I was just speaking with her and I think she had to take a nap. So uh, Kima hopefully she'll very, wake up uh, soon. She believes in the sporadic naps amongst the rocks. <laughs> Do not mind her. Look very tired earlier when meet her. I I think she's taken a really quick nap. <laughs> of course. And it's quite the rifle you have amongst your back. I do enjoy its uh, arrangement. Oh. I'm lucky to have it. I was, I was just telling her I've been robbed quite a few times recently. Oh my, I'm sorry that this has befallen you. I it's a wee bit frustrating. Now who has robbed you on this day? Oh, um, well, the first fella was a fella named Gavin Summers. And he mm. took my rifle instead of killing me, so I guess I should be grateful for that. Material men. I well... I'd stumbled upon him in Great Valley while I was riding around looking for, uh, you know, to see if I could find any, anything buried. I was at night. I heard a bear, so I went running back towards the ranch, and then suddenly I saw shadowy figures running towards me. I put my hands up saying, hey, I'm not here to hunt, I'm not here to take anything, and then I realised that it was not, it wasn't natives out there or anything like that who were protecting the land, it was them. They came in 
threatened me, didn't want me to let the law know that I'd seen him out there. So I took my rifle and said that he'd hold it collateral so that I wouldn't tell. So he robbed you twice? No, he just robbed me that one time. Uh, no, the other night I was in Valentine and some people decided to rob the bank and they forced me into the bank and tied me up and they took my replacement rifle that I'd only had for two days. I'm, so I'm pretty sure that was Tommy Two Snakes in his group. Another name that we are too familiar with. Mr. Summers has come and shared the company of the teepee. One time, under the alias of a man named Hayden. For his travels out far out west. He's come here. He did have the gall. He came here and engaged with a pack of wolves and live over yonder. He shot and killed a few. I approached him with a bow and asked him if he came with peace in his heart. But he did not let me know of his name. His real one, at least. He deceived what you gave. Of course, because of he had done my people a service, as the wolves have been a matter that has been plaguing much of our people. They come into our village, hungering for our chickens. Boy, Attack are you bad elder. here? It can be. But when we are seasoned warriors, when we are here, then we protect these people. But overall, I invited him to the teepee to speak, for him to tell me his story, to which he did. And he spoke with great emotion. For his heart to help to Wachuge. Only to try to shepherd him out after sharing the company of fire and smoke. To find the law here who were coming to speak to Wachuge. Who saw Mr. Summers and informed me of the men who I shared my company with. He was told to leave. He is no longer welcome here. Nor the rest of his gang, if you would. I well, fortunately, he's uh, he's in Cisco, last I heard. Of course, that mm. means I probably won't be getting my rifle back. Because <laughs> they didn't yeah. find it on him when I captured him, from what I've heard. One has to go ahead and count the Creator's blessings when we can get, have them, yes? <laughs> well, this is good. This is good to hear. Now, this two snakes robbing you as well does not surprise me of a man of that nature. We have tried to make peace with this man many a times. I'm worried that I'm still going to have to deal with him, though. He's, um, he's been stalking me around for the last few days. Is that because I told the law on him for committing crimes? I see. I'm sorry that this man burdens you so. I wouldn't say I'm burdened. I'm just not eager to get snatched when I'm least expecting it. I'd take it somewhere. Never know what something like that's going to do. Mm. Especially if they think that they need to do some sort of revenge. Well, if you were ever in need of refuge, Miss Saffron, you are more than welcome to find it here. A teepee has very thick cloth, and I believe Two Snakes is not so keen on his eyes to be able to see through. It is his tongue that I, we all worry about, forked and spewing poison. <laughs> well, keep that in mind, but I wouldn't want to bring trouble to your door, either. He That's is already trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an expression, you know what I mean. Trouble to the teepee. Well, trouble to the teepee. The talk of doors is a bit of a joke for something that happened the other night. Um, a man tells us to go as we go to the secret cave of our Cohen land. This man says it is a home. And we should put a door upon it. 
Why would we put a door upon our cave? We did not say it was a home. It is a sacred place. It needs no door. <laughs> Made by the great creator itself, carved out by the ancient ones. Silly man. Silly ideas. But these men also robbed a man over there as well. More I was robbers. curious to see if it was the same light of your source. Uh, I didn't can. I've only been. Well, there is another person who robbed me recently, but I, d I didn't see their face. So I can only guess as to who they might have been, and I don't really know. Mm -hmm, I see. <laughs> they were kind enough not to take every cent in my pocket, and they didn't take the brand new repeater I just take. I just bought. They took my carbine that I hadn't put away yet. So for that, at least I'm grateful. <laughs> so much greed inside of this world. And so many people who perpetuated. <gasps> Sorry. Kima's Ke reflexes. <laughs> I... mm. <laughs> that is why she is a young one. If this was Bochuga, I'd be on the floor. <laughs> Would you care to join us in the teepee? For some time for fire and conversation. Um, sure. Sure, I can do that. Let, let me put my very fully. She is troubled. She is. She herself is stuck upon the actions of many days ago, many moons. She believes that the. She herself has done the people a great disservice. She, she will wear this burden as long as she allows herself to, I think. Indeed. As I told her before, it takes great resolve for one to have when they look inwardly at their selves. One must acknowledge their pain, their anger and anguish, and then one may grow from this. She is still young, has many lessons to still to learn. Uh, Miss Saffron, when you enter into the teepee, Aye. look th look through thine eyes. All right. That way you do not get the cloth in your face. Interesting. Sorry, I, I don't think I cut your name. Hmm. I'm Winter Oak. Oh, nice to meet you, Winter Oak. Uh, if you didn't catch my name, it's Saffron. Hmm. It's nice to meet you also. Have you lived up here your entire life? used to live further up mountains, but tribe get smaller and move here. I see. Well, I, um, I don't come from the US, from America here, obviously. <laughs> you can probably tell from the sound of my voice. Ah, I used to live in Scotland quite a while ago now. Hmm. Not know this place. That's across the ocean. So that's very far away. It took a long time to get here. On a big boat. What happened to everybody? You don't think that they might have run into trouble with the wolves or something like that, do you? Mm, not sure. Not here. Any wolf. Oh, right. Oh, here, Elder. 
I? You're the, are you the only one in this teepee? Uh, no, there's a... Uh, Winter Oaks right there. I have had the strangest nap. I just woke up halfway down the road. Who put me there? Who is this? Who put me halfway down the road? Oh. Uh, he, I think it's... Was it Hyrule? He went to go look for you. Did he find you? Oh, I found myself. Uh, I found myself. <laughs> they were blinded by the light. Perhaps you're just very tired and you you wandered uh, down the road. Maybe so. A great spirit walk indeed. <laughs> Hopefully, Hyro does not go too far. Please sit. Dudnoth, <laughs> not back yet, either. He has not returned. Hmm. No, I was starting to get worried because he's both gone. I didn't yeah, care where he went to. Sadie and him. Did Hyrule go there himself? Or is he just looking for me? No, Hyrule looked for Wichuge. I he said he was looking for you. But Bloodmouth and Sadie been gone much time now. Mm. This does bring a little worry to my heart. I hope they are okay. Where were they going to Wallace? There's a great amount of bear there. Mm. Winter Oak, would you find Hyrule outside and go riding for this man? Yes. You do me a great gift and an honor. Peace. Ride fast. And come back with good news. I will pray to Hobomok. Sounds like he broke everything as he left. Miss Sharfwan, will you join me oh. in some prayer? Oh, found. Yeah. Found Hyrule. <laughs> oh, good. I Sorry. found I found oh, thank, you, so thank you, Hobomok, for gifting us with Hyrule. His presence. My God. A very strange nap at Wombaleska. Well, took me took me all the way down the road. That's really strange. Bloodmouth came back. He and Sadie are at rest. Oh, look at this, Sir Saffron. Don't even have to pray for them. <laughs> I have something for you afterwards as well. Of course. I figure we can entertain our guests with a story. Before daytime comes, and you are more than welcome to go after this, but I would hate for you to leave if there were to be wolves, or anything of the sort. Oh so my. please. No, I don't mind listening to a story. In fact, I'd love to hear a story. Hmm. Of course. Have you ever heard of the story of creation?